Namaste. Today, on the auspicious day of Buddha Purnima, the full moon night which is dedicated to the Buddha, Lord Buddha, I want to narrate a beautiful story that I heard and always stayed with me from the life of Buddha. Once it happened that uh, Buddha was sitting with his key disciples, core disciples. He wanted to teach them something, a lesson that was in his mind. But he wanted to communicate this lesson not through the words, but through a certain display. So, he took out a rumal, a handkerchief or a piece of cloth from his pocket and created a few knots in that uh, cloth. The story says probably there were about five knots in that uh, cloth that Buddha created. Then he gave the cloth to one of his disciples, the cloth with all the knots. And he said, My beloved, open these knots, but do it quickly. And in that quickness, what this disciple did, he started, you know, pulling the hanky or this cloth from all angles. The more he pulled, the more the knots became more tighter. He pulled a little more, the knots became more tighter. Now there was no possibility of opening the knots because they were really tight. The entanglement was really tight now. Buddha saw, then he gave the same cloth to another disciple, said the same thing again, please open the knots. Second disciple also did the same. In his hurry or in his uh, eagerness to open the knots quickly, he was putting a lot of force, pressure, pulling from this side, that side, to open the knots. Buddha kept looking at it, kept smiling. Both of them just couldn't open the knots. The knots became more tighter by their effort. Buddha said, there is a teaching. Do you see the teaching? The disciple said, we don't know what the teaching here is. Buddha said, do you know what wrong you are doing in this process? They said, no. Buddha said, okay. Then he gave the, the cloth with the knots to the third disciple. And he said, now, do as I say. He said, okay. Now Buddha said, first, observe the knots. Don't do anything. Don't be in the eagerness or hurriness to do. Just be Observe. Give it some time. So this disciple literally sat with the cloth in his hand and looked at the knot from all the angles. Buddha said, just observe. Don't do anything. He kept observing. As he was observing the way the knots were, the angles of the knots and everything about the knots, this disciple found out a way. He saw that if he pulls it softly from this side, the knot will open. And that's exactly what he did. Buddha said, now, after observing, do you see where the knot is? The disciple said, yes. Do you see the angle of the knot? Yes. Do you know what string to pull to be able to open the knot? Yes. Buddha said, now do it. And disciple with both its hands just opened the knot. This was very swift. Buddha said, this is the teaching on the journey for life on the path. Don't be in the hurry to do. A situation comes to you. Look, observe the situation from all point of views, from all angles, just observe. Don't be in hurry to do, execute, solve anything there and then. First observe. In your observation, you will find the sutra, the angle, the side from where you need to pull a string to be able to open this knot. That's how life is. Observe. In your observation, you will know the solution. In knowing the solution, you will know how to execute something to get to that solution. There were three teachings in this story. That's what Buddha said. So my humble recommendation to all of you, not as a Buddha, but as somebody who loves the Buddha, learn to observe. In that observation, magic will happen. Don't believe me. Don't believe the Buddha. Just do it and see the result of it. And do what? Not solving the issue. Observations. Yeah. With that, thank you very much.